Hi guys, it's Kelsey and Kendra. So in today's video, Kelsey and I partnered up with Nioxin to bring you guys this video. And if you guys don't know, Nioxin is the number one globally selling salon brand for thicker, fuller looking hair. Also, their products aren't just for people with thinning hair or hair loss. You can also use their products if you just want thicker, fuller looking hair. But we do get a lot of questions about thinning hair and hair loss. So this video is going to be very helpful to you guys because we're going to be covering the most well-known causes of hair loss and hair thinning. And these causes are based on a survey provided by Nioxin. Also, before we get into the well-known causes, we want you guys to know that you do not only have to have a fine hair texture to experience thinning hair. Because Kendra and I do have thick hair, but we have experienced some thinning areas. We also don't want you guys to get shedding hair confused with thinning hair. Shedding hair is completely normal. Everyone sheds hair. Actually, the average woman sheds about 50 to 100 strands of hair per day and sometimes up to 150 strands per day. Okay, so now that we've covered all of that, we can go ahead and get into the most well-known causes. Okay, so the most well-known causes that people are aware of are stress, genetics, hormonal changes, diet, and medication. So 70% of people are aware that stress can cause hair loss, which we're not surprised to hear because everyone stresses is so normal amongst all ages of people. So yeah, we're not surprised that is that common because stress can affect your entire body, including your hair. And 70% of people are also aware that genetics can cause hair loss as well. On our grandmother's side, there is thinning hair and hair loss on her side, so we'd have to pay attention to that. So definitely pay attention to all your family members, especially your parents and your grandparents, and see if they have experienced hair loss or hair thinning. So 56% of people are aware that hormonal changes can cause hair loss or thinning, and hormonal changes can come from puberty, menopause. Okay, so 42% of people are aware that hair loss can come from your diet. And it's kind of crazy that you have to think about your diet when it comes to hair loss or hair thinning also, because we didn't know that your diet can affect hair loss. You definitely are what you eat, so definitely pay attention to what you are consuming on a day-to-day -day basis. So only 32% of people are aware that medication can cause hair loss or hair thinning. I thought so many more people would be aware of this one because so many different people take medications for different reasons and medications have a lot of different side effects. So definitely pay attention to the side effects and the medications that you're taking and ask your doctor before leaving as well. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now we're going to briefly mention to you guys some causes that people are less aware of and they are hairstyle, pregnancy, pollution, weight loss, and birth control. So 32% of people were less aware that hairstyles can cause hair loss and we thought that more people would be aware of this one because hairstyles are very, very crucial when it comes to your hair thinning, especially if you wear your hair in a tight ponytail or tight braids. Mm -hmm. It can definitely cause stress to the hair and Kelsey and I, it's not a hairstyle, but Kelsey and I, when we wrap our hair at night, you guys know you wrap your hair to keep it straight. And we wrap our hair in one direction and we definitely have noticed a difference in a cowlick on the left side of our hair and it's starting to thin the more we wrap our hair on this side. We've been doing it for years. Yeah. And that has come from our hair going in the same direction for so many years. Yeah. So when it comes to hairstyles, try to change it up a bit and try not to do the same thing over and over because it can cause hair loss. So if you like to wear a high bun or a high ponytail, try to switch it up to a low bun or a low ponytail. Just to give that area in your head a break. So only 24% of women are aware that pregnancy can cause hair loss or hair thinning. And I thought so many more women would be aware of this one. Mm -hmm. Because pregnancy, your body just changes so much when mm -hmm. you're pregnant. And hair is definitely one of them from what we've seen. Especially when it comes to post-pregnancy. Mm -hmm. I've seen a lot of women have thinning hair after they've given birth. So only 19% of people are aware that pollution can cause hair loss as well. And we weren't really surprised that the percentage was that low because most people don't really pay attention to the air affecting their hair thinning or having hair loss. Because most people when they think about the pollution in the air, they usually think about their skin versus their scalp, but a lot of people forget that your scalp is technically skin, so that can have an effect on thinning hair. So only 16% of people are aware that weight loss can cause hair loss or hair thinning. And I will probably be one of those 16% of people that are unaware of hair thinning being caused by weight loss because a lot of people when they're losing weight, they're just trying to lose the weight. They're not really thinking about hair loss. But losing weight is a lifestyle change. You're changing the amount of sleep that you get. You're changing what you're eating. So I can definitely see that being why your hair can play a major role in losing weight. 
And only 15% of women were aware that birth control can cause hair loss or hair thinning. And we were kind of surprised about this because birth control has a lot of side effects. It's medication technically. <laughs> Depending on what kind of birth control you take, it can have certain side effects like thinning hair or hair loss. So definitely pay attention to the side effects that your birth control can have. Like Kelsey said earlier, like make sure you ask your doctor, mm -hmm. what is this going to do if I take this? <laughs> Okay, so that completes this video. We hope you guys found this video helpful and informative. And if you guys are wondering about products, because of course Nioxin is very popular for their products, Kelsey and I are going to be using some of their products in the future. So be looking out for some of those videos. And also if you guys want more information on the survey that we mentioned to you guys today, please check out Nioxin.com in the description box below. And once again, we hope you guys enjoyed this video and we'll see y'all next time.